There are certain signs, some of them big, some of them small, that are concerning for me when it comes to left. I've done a bunch of videos about this, and this one's both a small and a big one at the same time, that again, is just another sign, like all these videos I've done, Lyft is really starting to not do well, and it's doing consistently worse and worse and worse. And that is something you're probably not expecting, getting a referral bonus. Now I know when I mention this, sometimes people think like, oh, well, Mark, of course you get bonuses, which I do. Sometimes I get a referral bonus and super random where let's say someone clicks on my link in the description of my videos, they sign up because they watch my videos. They're like, hey, why not sign up? Because I need someone's link anyway to get my own bonus when it comes to signing up. But here's what's interesting. There are certain terms. And again, this is very important for this video. And again, it's another kind of subtle and small, but big telling sign of where left is going or potentially not going, and that is the requirement. So I have mentioned before, this is the way it works when it comes to getting a left referral bonus on both sides. Not only for me as the referrer and the other person as the referrer, if that's the right word, and that is you have to do a certain amount of rides within 30 days. Now I remember back in the day, and I feel like when I talk about like Uber and Lyft in 2014 or 15, I feel like I saw like an old person being like, back in the ride sharing days, but it's true, we're back in, Again, 2015, it was just like, you sign up, you do your first ride, you get a bonus. And then they kind of switched it where they're like, okay, I think it was, I believe, 30 rides in 30 days. Now, in case you're curious, as a side note, this is what I say to a lot of beginning drivers. On average, it does depend. You're looking at about one to three rides an hour. So on average, two. So if someone says to me, how long does it take to do 30 rides? Of course, it depends upon the city, a lot of different factors, but 30 rides, you're looking at about 15-ish hours, give or take some time. So in the beginning, in 2015, I remember there was deals where they were like, hey, do 30 rides, so 15-ish hours of work, get a $1,000 bonus. Pretty ridiculous for only 15-ish hours of work. And remember, when it comes to these Lyft referral bonuses, it's not like you don't get paid for those rides you do. This $1,000 bonus is in addition to all the other money that you made doing these rides. And then over time, things changed. Then let's switch it to a very unique model where they said, hey, for the refer, like say me, if I refer somebody to drive for Lyft, we're gonna give you a percentage of every ride they do up until a certain point. So I think it's something like, for the first 100 rides, I get like 10% of each ride they do. It was a very weird model. It was kind of odd, I'm not gonna lie. They were doing that for like a little bit and they stopped doing it. Then they kind of switched back to what they were doing before. And I've mentioned this in other videos and I promise you there's a whole reason why I'm saying this. Then they switch it to what they're doing now. Things have changed. But now where they're like, okay, you have to do 60 rides in 30 days. Then they upped it. Okay, no, 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 90 rides in 30 days. Then it was 120 rides, which is it was something I saw a lot in 30 days. And remember, and I've said this before, if let's say you do 119 rides in 30 days, and then on day 31, you do that 100, 100, 120th ride, once you do that, you get nothing. It's all or nothing. You have to hit that metric within 30 days. And it was interesting for me because I can see like, you know, I, I can't see a lot of details, but I can see the person's name, how many rides they have to do. And this depends upon the city actually as well and how close they are to hitting that bonus. So it's interesting to see on my left driver app because I've noticed now, and this was the big kicker for this video. The last time I checked, and you can see this right here, the ride requirements have gone up. Lyft is now making people have to drive way more, double, triple. I think if you do the math out, let's say for, the, as you can see, for the person who has to do 240 rides in 30 days, what is that? That's seven times more rides than it was years ago. And this is interesting to me for a couple different reasons. One, I think the biggest is just that when it comes to Lyft, they're getting a lot more strict. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to do it stingy, but they're getting a lot more like, hey, we're not just gonna give out the bonus as much anymore. Typically the Lyft referral bonus can be anywhere between $350 and $800. That's the typical spread. I'd say with most bonuses being either six or $800, typically closer to 800 if I had to be honest, that's a lot of money. But with Lyft not doing that well now, and I've done a bunch of videos about that, I think it's a sign of Lyft saying, hey, we can't just shell out an $800 bonus for someone doing 60 rides in 30 days, we have to up it. Because the harder it is, as you can imagine, the harder it is for someone to get that bonus, 
the less Lyft has to pay that bonus payout. And I think this is just a sign that like I was looking at this being a wait. So someone who signed up through my, uh, what should we call it, through my code. I'm not, obviously I'm not going to feature their name or anything. I want to make sure just because just of privacy and stuff like that. They signed up. They have to do 240 rides in their first 30 days as a driver. Like I said, doing the math out, that means they have to drive about, give or take, 120 hours in the first 30 days. There's a couple of different ways you can do this, of course. Every driver's a bit different. One, you could do four hours a day. You say every day I have to go out, drive for four hours, that's it. Hit my 120 hours, do those 240 rides. Another option, which I feel like is a bit more feasible, especially given like peak hours and the way things are structured, is to do 30 rides every week. So if you think about it, 30 rides a week, in the first four weeks or 28 days or 38 days, or excuse me, 30 days, you know, you drive four weeks, 30 hours a week. But that is, I'd say semi part-time slash, if anything, like halfway between part-time and full-time. I feel like for most part-time drivers, you're looking about 20 hours a week, full-time 40. So you're in between that. And I'm not gonna lie, for an experienced driver, someone who's been driving a lot, they're like, oh, dude, 120 rides and uh, it'll be 240 rides, 240 rides or 120 hours in only 30 days. I hit that easy. I hit that no problem. But to someone who just started driving, that is a lot. It's a lot to be like, okay, so now I have to go on the road for 30-ish hours a week for the next four weeks, drive all this kind of stuff. And you know what? I'm going to do all this for, like say, an $800 bonus, which is a good amount of money. Don't get me wrong. But I can see a lot of drivers being like, you know what? I'm sorry, but 240 rides, that just seems like way too many for me. I'm not going to do it. I might not even get close. And what's interesting, and again, I want to stress this, I'm not necessarily looking at this from the perspective of me being like, oh man, it's so annoying now. It's harder to get a bonus from Lyft or whatever. Because those bonuses are very random, I'm going to be honest. I just do these videos because I really like helping drivers out. But I think what is even more of a telling sign is Lyft is making it harder and harder for people to get bonuses who sign up as drivers. And I'm going to be honest, I feel like that's a big incentive for a lot of drivers. Like you sign up, you use someone's code on Uber and Lyft, right? Both of them, by the way you get a nice bonus and those bonuses have kind of trailed off a bit. And what I'm wondering, and this is the big thing, I've noticed that the requirements, like I said, have gotten stricter and stricter. Is this a big sign, or excuse me, another one of the big signs, unfortunately, the left is just slowly getting worse and worse and worse. I've done some videos about this and I even you know, mentioned how, in, in one of the videos, how a lot of Lyft drivers have been telling me they just paid way less. And of course, it does depend upon your city, but just overall, they're getting paid way less and less bonuses. I got a bunch of comments on that video of people saying, actually, yeah, Mark, I'm in that exact same position. Lyft just doesn't have the incentives, the bonuses. Uber is now paying more for me, et cetera, et cetera. And again, this is like just a very small sign. I mean, even when I went to, which I suggest you don't do, by the way, if you do want to refer somebody, if you go on like the Lyft you know, for a driver section, you can do like an auto text feature. And I was curious, okay, for LA, what is the requirement? In LA now, you have to do 200 rides in order to get that sign on bonus, which means you have to do 100-ish, give or take again, 100-ish hours of work in your first 30 days. Again, to an experienced driver, not really that big of a deal. But if you just started out, or let's say you just even wanna drive part-time, or like, you're like, hey, I have a nine to five job, but I feel like for a lot of people, for most people signing up, they do want to drive part time. It's like, look, if you drive just part time on the weekends here and there, that might be impossible for you. If you factor in your nine to five job, you know, commuting to and from work, if you have a family, if you have other obligations, responsibilities, you have stuff to do, doing 200 rides in your first 30 days may be impossible. And so for a lot of people now signing up, they may be like, hey, that $800 bonus, it sounds great. Like it sounds great getting an $800 bonus, but there's no way I can work a hundred-ish you know, hour. There's no way I can work 25 hours a week on top of my nine to five job, on top of taking care of my family, on top of my other responsibilities, et cetera, et cetera. And again, I know this is like a small thing, just looking at the requirements to get a Lyft referral bonus, but as these requirements are getting just harder and harder, and even approaching some areas of being like, I don't say near impossible because that's a bit of a dramatic statement, but for some people, it may be like, hey, I just can't do it. It's just impossible in a sense for me. I think it's moving down this path where we're saying, hey, we just can't give drivers the bonuses we used to. So by 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 us saying we can't remove the referral bonus program, right? Lyft is not saying, hey, we're not going to do referral bonuses. They still are. 
but by making it harder to get that bonus, they're kind of doing like a unique thing where they're not saying anything about it, but being a bit passive aggressive by making these requirements more and more difficult, more just overall near impossible for a lot of people, which means Lyft has to give out less money overall after every single bonus happens. I know it's just really interesting to me. Um, it, it, it stinks because I'm a huge fan of Lyft and I think most drivers are, but as things continue to get worse, whether it's the Lyft stock, which I did a video about, Lyft removing a lot of their incentives for drivers in terms of when they're driving, that's going down. The fact that they're making the Lyft bonus structure a lot harder. The fact that Lyft just in general is now paying less. All these different things, some of them being big, some of them being small, are just signs, I don't know. Um, for a lot of drivers out there, it kind of seems to say, but it seems like a lot of drivers now are moving towards Uber, which uh, I think for most drivers, they're not the biggest fan of, let's be honest. But it almost seems like it's an unfortunate, inevitable thing that for a lot of drivers out there, even irregardless of your city, they're starting to move from Lyft to Uber. And this is just another small but big sign that Uber is just getting bigger and Lyft just getting worse.